Hi, so at the end of the last video um, I had integrated Timeline with Game Creator to fire some simple actions that uh, had our main character walk along the gangplank to the uh, the computer console and then he walked back to the middle but um, there was no real animation going on he he just kind of walked along um, what we wanted to do uh, after that was to create an environment in which he would uh, play some animations some talk animations and so on so I'm going to show in this session uh, how I did that well you may recall that um, in the previous session I had used the game creator uh, activation tracks, uh, sorry, action tracks, this one here, uh, to trigger the actions that previously were just the first of the actions here. Let me just collapse that and expand that. This first action here, which was to move to that first marker. So the marker we have is over here and then the second action was to move to here. And we just had those two actions. What I've done is I've expanded out this first action where he's going to have a conversation and if you look here once this action has completed he plays the character talk animation and when that is completed he plays a different character talk animation and then he waits. And then if you look at the timeline we are triggering the action just like we did before but the action is now different. I examine the first carpet we have the move just like we did before going to the marker but then we have a disagree action animation, a talk and a talk. I also have two more actions here um, so this one here is just animations and uh, so we got an angry and a talk to and a cocky and then there's a third one where he actually likes the, 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 the carpet that's been given so then he does a victory animation and then he walks back to the carpet uh, to the uh, first marker again so I've added in these additional uh, actions and I've made the actions within game creator uh, more involved and somebody asked me on, on the Game Creator Discord, you know, what are the advantages of using uh, a Timeline over using uh, just Game Creator? And I think this is a really good balance of the two. What you have here is you can line up actions that are not time dependent very, very easily, like these all group together very sensibly into one set of actions and then trigger them at the precise time that you want them and uh, of course drag the, uh, the the trigger time to wherever you want it and fine tune based on the other actions in your animation uh, in your timeline rather so these three here are the activation of the carpets that are in there these are the triggerings of the dialogue uh, and the, the text-to-speech that reads out the dialogue for us so that's really simple. Uh, if you want to know more about how to work on the actions, there's some good videos uh, on the Game Creator channel. Uh, I'll put a link in the uh, description below. Um, but for me, this um, this combination of timeline and actions is really powerful. Um, next up, I'm going to do something a little bit more involved uh, using triggers. Um, to, to control things and see if ultimately I end up with not having timeline at all. See you then.